in this lecture i will share some important points about torque of a force first of all let us try to understand what is the meaning of torque suppose some force is acting on a body in this direction and body starts moving in a straight line so this is called effect of force on the body is that body moves in a straight line sometimes the situation is like this if we apply a force on the body the body instead of moving in a straight line starts moving in a circular path this turning effect of force on a body is called torque of a force if torque is equal to zero then the body will not rotate if torque has some non zero value then body will have some rotational motion instead of linear motion suppose a force f vector is applied on a body and the body starts moving in a circular path where axis of rotation is this one if the effect of force on the body is that body instead of moving in a straight line starts moving in a circular path or starts rotating then this turning effect of force on the body is called torque this is the qualitative definition how to calculate quantitatively torque of a force torque of a force is denoted by the letter tau and it is defined as moment of force about axis of rotation this is the quantitative definition of torque due to a force now how to find moment moment means you will produce this line of force backward and draw a perpendicular on this suppose this point is o this point is a where body is placed this point is b let me join point o and a also then this distance when multiplied by magnitude of force it gives us moment of force about this axis of rotation how to find this ob let me produce this radius vector forward suppose r vector and f vector have angle theta between them if this angle is theta this will also be theta so from this triangle o a b i can find value of sin theta as perpendicular ob divided by hypotenuse oe cross multiplying i can write ob is equal to oa sin theta and oa is nothing but radius of the circular path followed by the body it will give us r sin theta so ob is equal to r sin theta using this value i can write torque of force is equal to f multiplied with r sin theta and i can rewrite this result as r f sin theta so this gives us magnitude of torque of a force acting on a body that starts moving in a circular path of radius r now now this right hand side is magnitude of cross product of r vector and f vector so in vector form i can write torque is equal to r vector cross f vector so this is the complete expression for torque of a force f vector acting on a body now tau vector is a vector quantity so it must have some direction also how to find its direction for that purpose we make use of right hand thumb rule for cross product of two vectors if i curl the fingers of right hand from this radius vector towards force vector then thumb will give us direction of tau vector and it will be along this axis of rotation this is how direction of torque due to a force can be
Fogo.